Hello friends, I'm Host Eric, and I've got another exciting thought experiment for us. And it is as follows. I'm going to do it with you so you don't have to worry about the timing. It's for 30 seconds, and it goes like this. You're going to close your eyes, you're going to take about a second or two to clear your head, and then I'll say, time starts now. You need to get a pencil and something to write on. Um, but you just can make single lines. You just need a little teeny piece of paper. You don't need a lot of space. You know and um, then close your eyes, clear your head, listen to the sounds. Try to focus on the sounds that you're hearing from the outside world, just all the background noise. And then try to clear your head of any concrete thoughts. Then when the time starts, you're going to try to count your thoughts. And in specific, what I want you to count, try to count, is what I call aborted thoughts or um, ideas that are incomplete. So what I notice as I'm doing this is I'm not having complete sentence thoughts. I'm trying not to have thoughts. I'm yet having these aborted things coming up out of I don't know sure where. And I'll just tell more about my experience the first time I did it, and this, now the second time I'm going to do it uh, after we try it. Give it a shot and see what you encounter. You may not even encounter what I call aborted thoughts. You may call, you may encounter something else. And my, the assignment, so to speak, is to, to, to note each of the distinct objects that occurs in that 30 seconds. Okay, time. We're going to just take a breath and then close your eyes. And just clear your head, and then time will start now. Okay, that's time. I had stop. I said stop, motherfucker. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure how many I had, but I think it's interesting what I had. I, I wrote down about seven or eight lines here, and I determined that I I'm having distinct thoughts that are not exactly stated in words. One of them was. Like, remember to listen. Remember to listen was one of the, the, the thoughts that I had towards the end. And I listened again. And then I thought, I had, one of the thoughts I had was, um, now, remember to make note of things. It, was, it basically reminded myself of the stuff that I'm supposed to be doing. So, that phenomenon there is, I think, SI. Right? That's SI popping up right there. And it's not exactly filled out in words. It's just like, remember what you're doing. Remember what you're doing. Remember what you're doing. Remember what you're doing a little bit bigger. Remember what you're doing a little bit bigger. Remember what you're doing a little bit bigger. I think that's SI. And I think if you do this experiment a few times and you're trying to do the experiment, you will discover yourself. Because you remember, your first task is to try to clear your head and not think anything. And then note what things pop up. So, another thing that popped up for me in the first time I did it was this notion of a bubbling thing below that produced things, popped up. And that was more of a visual image, which is not my usual thing. But it was like a visual for, not even a, not even a visual, just a split second of a visual and then or like a shape of bubbling and then I get replaced with the notion of bubbling like the word bubbling but even now I sort of I have a visual on it now so okay that's for me um, I got a lot of SI out of there and maybe some 
I don't know what a bubbling thing would be. Some sort of visual thing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See if you hopefully enjoyed that SI experiment.